Hey everyone, Mr. Erdreich here, and in this video, I'm gonna share a review on my preferred 3D printer for under $500, the Prusa Mini. So the Prusa Mini is my preferred 3D printer for under $500 for a lot of different reasons, starting with the brand itself. Prusa is not new to the 3D printing world, and they've innovated 3D printing for countless brands as a pioneer in open source entry-level 3D printing, though that's not to say that this is necessarily an entry-level printer. At the time of making this video, you could buy a Prusa Mini for $429 as a kit, or $459 if you wanna get it pre-built. Despite the name, this isn't a small printer. I mean, it is small in terms of package, but the build volume is seven inches by seven inches by seven inches, which is pretty huge for anything around this price point. That being said, compared to other 3D printers that are around the same build volume, this thing is half the size. So I love the fact that there's a small footprint, but yet a big build volume. In terms of quality, it performs like every other Prusa product, which is pretty fantastic. So you can tune this thing to print at relatively high speeds. And because it has the Bowden extrusion type 3D print head, it does print rather quickly as this is a very lightweight 3D print head. You can also tune this thing to print at very high detail. So this will give you phenomenal quality with this 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and you can drop that down to a 0.2 if you really wanna get into even more detail. Like all Prusa products, you can use the Prusa slicer to actually prepare your models, which is pretty easy to use, especially if you just wanna do basic and quick printing. There's tons of different filament and predetermined settings in there, but you can also drop in some advanced and expert settings if you wanna fine tune it, or enable automatic supports that just rip off with ease super easy to use and super easy to get going with your actual models. Unlike many other printers within this price bracket, it has built in ethernet for internet cloud printing and an optional Wi-Fi module that you can install yourself. And it also uses a USB drive rather than an SD card to load your models. It's also pretty user friendly. The removable build plate is really easy to use. It's super easy to flex and remove your parts and it is reversible, which means you get double the life out of it and it's nice and easy to snap back in and install. It does have automatic leveling. If you go with the Prusa Mini Plus, it has a slightly more high detail, but both the Prusa Mini and Prusa Mini Plus utilize a temperature sensor. So basically it detects the temperature as it gets closer to auto level the bed. The screen is a beautiful interface, love that. And the Prusa itself has this lovely built-in wizard to help you with all the different calibration and tuning. No printer is perfect, so there are always things that you need to tweak and modify and tune, as I talk about in some of my other videos for this printer, like my 10 favorite and least favorite things about it, or how to clear out a jam. But on the Prusa website, there's countless documentation and tutorial videos because the amount of support that you get for this printer, both from Prusa and all over the internet on YouTube is insane. So to sum this up, this is a pretty powerful printer that gives you some really big high-end printer performance, such as print quality, auto bed leveling, and beautiful graphics and performance. Yet, it comes in a very small package, it's really affordable, and it allows any user to make really beautiful high quality parts for cheap. All in all, it's an awesome machine, and if you're shopping anywhere around the $500 price bracket, it's the one I would recommend for you. Thanks for watching and check out my channel for more hands-on 3D printing videos with this printer and more printers to come.